Is it this young man on my screen, Whiskey Dayo Balogu? <laughs> this is the most interesting fellow I've ever seen in the history of all celebrities in Nigeria. This guy right here catches crews once a year. And that once a year, once they come out, catch that cruise. Fium. Everywhere goes scattered, then he will now go into oblivion again, doing nothing. <laughs> watching, watching the catastrophe unfolding in pages. Once in a while, they set the internet ablaze for you to have something to talk about. I mean, for a while now, the nonsense has been going on is there's Vera, the BSC lawyer, and, you know, telling people that it's been a boring news all the while. So Whiskey decided to just give you guys what to talk about, and fium, at least we have something reasonable to talk about. No more Vera and Yim said she's now a celebrity. She now wants to, she wants able to get a, get a house in VGC and all those stuff. So leave my whiskey alone. Whiskey, Davido, um, Bonner Boy, all these boys know how to cash crews. But the difference is that whiskey cashes his own crews in a very mature, once in a while, and uh, in a very systematic way. And he knows that whatever he says something, it is going to trend. And one good thing about him is that he doesn't go outside his space. I mean, some of your favorite celebrities, some of your favorite artists, all they do is they cut across other um, topics. They put them out for waiting no concern they're just to keep relevance afloat. But the truth of the matter is that Whiskey knows that this is his space. He doesn't delve into politics. He doesn't delve into um, the um, acting industry, the Nollywood. He doesn't delve in. He knows the people he wants to drag. He knows the people he wants to call out. He knows his space. He's no, he knows his niche. The reason why I tell you that Whiskey is not cloud chasing is because cloud chasing is when you have to leave your niche and go across another another niche just to draw attention to yourself because you feel your relevance is actually dropping. That is what that is what cloud chasing is. But Whiskey do not go outside that music industry. Two years ago, was it uh, last year, he called out some music um, celebrities. I think he actually uh, attacked the hip hop industry and called them Brooke. And every internet spent got fired and everybody was just calling him out and he went back into oblivion again. The wash owner. Last year he called at the Afrobeat. I think last year earlier this he called Afrobeat uh, out and say one thing on the one one thing or the other again. Everybody carry out. Boo, 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 boo. This time again, I don't carry out. <laughs> so whatever he does, he's still revolving around that uh, music industry. He hasn't actually gone beyond that. That is to tell you that that is not cloud chasing. He's just cashing crews with you guys. And I can tell you that people like Don Jazzy and all the rest that he actually called out. Well, I don't know about the video because um, him and the video, we can actually tell. But I'm telling you from a place of conviction and a place of somebody who knows that Whiskey has way more to understand of how the music industry works. He doesn't have any issue with Don Jazzy. He doesn't have any issues with all these top dogs. You get it? He doesn't even have issues with Rema. See, all these men, the Paddy, all these men, the Waka. Rich people do not have time to start quarreling and keeping malice, having reservations for other people. All they do is that they just... Um, come together as brothers, do one or two things as brothers and have a result. So for people who are actually advising him to be careful, blah, 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 forget that nonsense. Whiskey's have been doing this thing for the past how many years. They're black, I don't know him. Not that they happen. That guy is standing giddy bar, like Bonner Boy. You know, they happen. I keep telling you, I keep telling you guys that this guy, honestly, Africa, you people don't even give that guy money. So whenever he says anything, whenever he attacks you people, he knows exactly what he's doing. How many of them are showing? When are they going to show? Right, they're going, forget that thing. So, telling him, ask, advising him to not to uh, do this, do this, and another. You think he doesn't have people that advise him in his team? You think he doesn't have uh, professionals that advise him? Now, your yeah, yeah, TikTok advice, I beg. He has been doing this on, often and on. Nothing they happen to his kid. He has been doing this. When I shout for the uh, advice, I finish. When I go see advice, I miss you. When I go see, when I know they tire, I beg. 